Hi, Shalom Ras Tefari. Ine Ras Yadinos Tefari Nain. I am Wendem Yado, and I'm reporting for the Lion of Judah Society of His Imperial Majesty in the Americas, the Caribbean, and throughout the world. And we're currently broadcasting on Ras Tefari Sabathico, right? Sabathico, right? Keep it sick. Remember, T H, not just a T, not a tick. We don't like ticks. Keep it thick. All right? And this is the continuation of Rastafari in Gathering 2012. It's a preparation for a sustainable exodus. It's a preparation for the millennial exodus. And as I pointed out on the Rastafari Sabbatical, right, there's this particular vid right here, which fuller name is, you'll find it under Rastafari Spirituality. Um, Rastafari spirituality, worship, and honoring the king. John Millennial Kingdom, Zechariah 14, verses 16 to 21. Now, you will recall that um, we were suspended or prohibited or, you know, our account, the Ethiopian World Net account, the truth is an offense. Illnet, illnet, elachachwa lo. You understand the truth is an offense, but it's not a chatiyat. Hallelujah. You understand that's not a chatiyat. So we can rejoice because Yeshua HaMoshiach, our black Lord and Savior, said that there will be days like these. But, you know, the good news is, the good news is that Jah lives. Children, yay. Our world, Jah lives. So here's some of the vids right here and some of the vids that we posted up there we'll probably have to also post over here. And this was the last bit, actually, that we were able to, you know, our Tawahido. Right? This is one of the last bits right here. Our Tawahido. And the former name is the Imperial and Imperial Ethiopia Kingdom of John Millennium, the divine heritage of Rastafari. Rastafari. Actually, we have posted this elsewhere as well. No, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about the Mary, um, the things of the Maria, the Black Madonna of uh, Edomawi Haile Selassie. That was the last video, which is interesting because that's, that's Sion. That's the living Sion, all right? Just as when we look at this, this, um, um, the Al, right, this Moed, you understand, this Moedim, you see this right here? This is, this is it. This is what we've been missing for repatriation. This is what we've been missing for Exodus. This, this principle, not just this, just don't look at it just in a natural way. Receive it in his spirituality. You understand? There's so much that can be learned. I mean, even, even on the personal level, one looks at this, that Yeshua HaMoshiach, you lay the cross out right here. If you lay the cross out right here, we come to the first place, we come to the altar. But in order to pass this gate, what tribe stands guard duty right there? The tribe that stands guard duty right there is Judah, is Yehuda. All right, is Yehuda. The Afra Marikawian is I and I. We are that's why everyone's coming to this gate. You understand? Know from all over the world coming to this gate. We have a a crushing and an awesome responsibility to crush the head of the serpent. You understand? Know an awesome responsibility. But that's why they, they have pumped in so much even into the Illuminati music business and other things to keep people not at putting black people on T V and all this stuff. Like Bob Marley, if you look at how Bob Marley exposed the Illuminati, that was actually from his, um, I think, his Ethiopian interview. And you need to get a copy of this, brothers and sisters, all right? Please get a copy of this right here, the good news of his imperial majesty. We had actually quoted right here, or, or the gospel of his imperial majesty, right? We had quoted this right here where his imperial majesty speaks on he speaks on uh, religion, right, to make our wills obedient to good influences and to avoid evil, therefore, is to show the greatest wisdom. In order to follow this aim, one must be guided by religion, by hymenote. And then he goes further to basically break down to us that religion, right, um, um, a light progress, progress without religion is just like a life surrounded by unknown perils and can be compared to a body without a soul. It is only when the human mind is guided by religion and morality or hymenos and morality that man can acquire the necessary vision 
You see the vision. You see the vision right there? Acquire the necessary vision, right? And that's the vision right there. The vision, right, where uh, we um, acquire the necessary vision to put all his ingenious inventions and contrivances to really useful and beneficial purposes. It is important that spiritual advancement must keep pace with material advancement. Now, one thing one, we can't say, one will say, well, I don't have that much money. Look forward to the, the vid that we do where we do a CSI, you understand, a Rastafari CSI <laughs> on the dollar bill. You understand? This is Sukkot. This is the Das Ba'al, right? This is the ingather. See, this is the principle of common unity. In the center must be Yeshua. That's why Burhan Selassie, that's why Bob Marley cried. You understand? He began to recognize it. Because when I recognize it myself, hold on for a moment. You know, you get emotional about what's really, you know, you know where your heart is. When I recognize it myself, too, like I said, I was, you know, talking about the Bible and them hard before I was really consciously born again, before you really get it. You know, you know what I'm saying? Before you really get it. You know, and, and some people, maybe they just don't get it yet. But, but there's, there's, there's probably some... Some ones who are jacked in people too, you know. That's why you have to up your spirituality, you know. Saying so you can see that, you know. Saying so like the cat, like the line of Judah, you can see in the dark, you can see in the infrared, you can see the radio waves, you can also receive the higher waves as, as well too. But let us go forward right here. So in the messianic era, this is the messianic era. We're already in the new day. We're already in the Adi Zemin. It's, it's, it's already it's already here.